Caesar Milan is a highly sought after dog behaviorist who has been teaching us how to better understand and care for our dogs for so many years. The dog whisperer is also sharing some of his little known secrets in a new book called Lessons from the Pack Stories of Dogs Who Changed My Life. Caesar and Andre paid Kennedy a visit recently. I want to tell the story of how we met because you, you changed my life so dramatically. Uh, we were at a dinner together, seated next to each other. It was a work dinner, mm -hmm. and I had told you that we were thinking about getting rid of our English bulldog yeah. because she bit our seven-month-old baby in the face. Right. <gasps> and I know, and I was so mad at the dog, I was like, this is never going to work out. And, and your dad pulled me aside and was like, no, that's actually your responsibility. Right. And he taught me a lot about introducing dogs to babies and right. how we had done a really poor job of that. <laughs> right. Right. And you, you saved our family in a sense because, you know, we kept her until the day she died when well, she was 12. Thank you for letting me know that. I yeah. appreciate that you follow, you know, my, my, my instru instructions, common sense, a point yeah. of view. I raised my kids around dogs who had issues. Yeah. I, I never gave up on the dogs. I'm pretty much this is what they learn about um, our profession. You yeah. know, it's, it's, we, we never blame the dog for the behaviors uh, he do. Oh, they do, as we actually make sure that the owners understand what the, the needs of the dogs that they're not meeting, yeah. oh, you know. Yeah. Well, it, it's interesting because, I mean, one of the things that I take from you guys, obviously, is that dogs see their lives as part of a pack. Right. And I think humans can benefit from that, too. Right. I mean, uh, humans, uh, just like... Uh, humans and dogs, uh, well, it's very compatible and compa uh, you yeah. can compare family that. oriented, uh, family oriented, energy driven. You know, you have you get you have a job, you want to go and do it, and then you get the reward, which is financial stability, a loving, caring home, food, shelter, water, stuff like that. So if you fulfill the needs of the dog, they're only going to give you loyalty, respect, love, and companionship, trust, trust yeah. all the way. That's right. No, that's that's absolutely right, and it's really interesting because we got a puppy last year, and she mm. had to find her place in the pack, right. Right. and so she kept trying to take down our younger daughter. Right. And right. And it was like, oh, baby, that's not happening. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. And she you learned all, that all regularly, sorts regularly. of stuff, and now they're pals. Right. 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 That's right. The dog finally learned. But uh, Dog Nation is great because you guys go out and you tell some of the incredible stories. You know, we've seen you sort of retraining humans over the years. Correct. But uh, this is different. This is different for many reasons. You know, one is I'm doing a show with my son. He's been with me since the moment he was born doing the show on Dog Whisper. Yeah. So now it's time for him to come and help me and, uh, and for him also to see how we can connect with organizations who are doing great things in our community, you know. And at the same time, we can, we can share our platform yeah. so people can know more about how other people change people's lives. Yeah, that's absolutely or right. Or dogs' lives. And, you know, when you see a handler, a police officer with a, a canine, officer it's really an incredible bond mm -hmm. yeah you know you realize we all know that our dogs are people and they're very intelligent um, now I happen to think that dogs are superior to cats what's your feeling about that Caesar <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna agree with you yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm biased yeah, yeah. he likes yeah. cats yeah, you like, do yeah, I like all types of animals oh because yeah, yeah you, you've I got a, yeah. a warm I, loving non-judgmental heart yeah, right 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 exactly yeah. yeah I'm not I don't judge I don't stereotype I, like I don't cats. judge either I just I don't, like, I, do. the I don't like how much the fur sheds from a cat as opposed to a dog yes. yeah. yeah and they look at you like they're just yeah. waiting yeah. for you to fall into a home and they can it's just the cats like they don't want to follow you they don't want to swim with you they don't want to rollerblade with you so there's a lot of things they don't want to do yeah. with you so yeah. so that's why and who is this uh, beautiful this is Benson. Benson this is this is you know a three-year-old Joe uh, you know member of the of the family yeah. a lot of times people feel the little dogs can behave calm or, or, or develop anxiety and you know if you treat a dog with uh, exercise discipline and affection yeah. that fulfills their need it doesn't matter the size it doesn't matter the breed yeah. they have the same needs Mm -hmm. Well, they say that uh, the first family should get a dog, that uh, it would help when, when Barron and Melania move to the White House. What kind of a dog should our new president get? For me and my experience, they definitely need a golden retriever. Nice. Something yeah. with a lot of fur that moves mm -hmm. and, and a dog that stays constantly in a happy-go-lucky state. Mm -hmm. Afghan you know. hound. I think an Afghan hound. An Afghan hound? Yeah, it's just furry. It's just they are so furry. Yeah. And those crazy sheep dogs that mm -hmm. develop like blonde dreadlocks. What is it? The police. <laughs> the police. Yeah, oh, the those things are great. The commandors, yeah. That would oh, be a perfect awesome. one. Yeah, and then just hold them in. Uh, well, actually, the, you know, President Trump loves gold. So a golden retriever well, would be go. great. There you go, golden retriever. And maybe he could even dye the, the dog <laughs> yeah, even gold. fur even more <laughs> even gold. gold. Yeah, it could be like gold. This is 24 karat, not 14. That's right. The best dog. Yeah, the best dog. All right, well, you guys, thank you so much. Best of luck with the show and the book. It's so nice to see you again. And thank you for letting me know about your book. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Nation. It premieres March 3rd at 9 p.m. only on Nat Geo Wild. So you guys